Okay, something a bit different. So I've taken my snooker balls to this uh, pool table, small pool table, six foot pool table. It runs well, it's a good table. It's not my table, so I didn't want to put, I was going to put sticky spots, paper spots down for the colours, but I don't want to mess around with it. So um, I'm going to be guessing where the colours should be respotted, but I'll do it honestly. And I don't know, should it be really easy to make a sizable break here? Or is it just going to be too congested all the way through? The balls are slightly bigger than the, the pool balls, obviously, but they do fit in the pockets, plenty of room. Nice start there. But the idea is to get rid of a few of these reds, thin them down first anyway. Just play a game of billiards. Two for the price of one there, but more or less snookered. Green. Nice safety shot. Three scored. It's audacious. Snick in the middle. Four. Bit timid there. Should have crashed through all those reds. Eight, but I'm, I'm running out of road. So we'll get the black into open plate. Foul shot. Again, basically, fresh attempt at a half decent contribution. So about half the reds have gone, so it's now or never in terms of getting a decent contribution going. Yeah, I play pool on this table quite a lot, and I'm noticing the difference with the bigger balls. Thank you. 
This is a Judge this at all. I think that's still nine as the highest break, which is awful. Fifty one on the table. I came into this thinking I would get fifty plus. Okay, I think we'll call it a day at that.